What does affect the economic incidents borne by either the demand side or the supply side of a market when an excise tax is imposed? Economists tell us that the question of who bears a greater portion of the economic burden of the tax depends on elasticities. There are several different types of elasticities. Price elasticity of demand, price elasticity of supply, elasticities of scale, income elasticities, etc. If you are interested in learning more about elasticities, there are plenty of good in internet sources. Conduct a Google or a YouTube search on the term elasticities. Here is a fairly good source where you can learn more about elasticities. We will focus exclusively on price elasticity of demand to make our points. We will also resist the temptation to explain how to calculate price elasticity of demand, as this is really beyond the scope of this course and really doesn't promote any greater understanding of our points. The points that we're making here about the economic effects of an excise tax. You will learn how to calculate elasticity soon enough when you take your microeconomics course. For our purposes, it is sufficient to describe price elasticity of demand as the measure of how sensitive consumers are to price changes, regardless of what causes the price changes. If we describe demand as relatively price inelastic, we mean that consumers are relatively insensitive to price changes. Relatively large changes in price cause relatively small changes in quantity demanded by consumers. Economists typically represent price inelastic demand by drawing a demand curve that is fairly steep, more vertical, so that over a wide range of price points along the vertical axis, quantity demanded changes relatively little along the horizontal axis. Now, let's proceed to our analysis of the effects of the excise tax in a market in which demand is relatively price inelastic, where consumers are relatively insensitive to price changes, even if it is a price increase resulting from a tax. As before, will represent the imposition of the tax on the demand side of the market as an inward shift of the demand curve. If the tax is $3 per unit, the demand curve will shift inward by $3 at all price points along the demand curve. The intersection of the new demand curve in the taxed market intersects the supply curve at a different point revealing a decrease in output from 6 to 5, less, the decrease, less than the decrease that we previously observed, suggesting that consumers are less sensitive to price increases resulting from the tax. We also see the two new effective price points. The effective price confronted by consumers, P subscript C, or $10.50 in this hypothetical scenario, and the effective price realized by sellers, P subscript S, or $7.50 here. The difference between PC and PS is still the amount of the tax, $3, $10.50 minus $7.50. The tax revenue to government, however, increases from $12 in our previous analysis to $15 here. Again, because consumers are relatively insensitive to the price increase resulting from the tax, output doesn't decrease as much. Consequently, there are more units sold and the tax to government is greater. Here we see that the portion of the economic burden of the tax that is borne by consumers is $12.50. K 
calculated by subtracting the equilibrium price PE from the price confronted by consumers PC or $10.50 minus $8, $2.50 times the quantity in the taxed market or 5 yielding $12.50. The portion of the economic burden of the tax borne by consumers is represented by the shaded rectangle. The portion of the economic burden of the tax borne by sellers is much smaller. It is the equilibrium price PE or $8 minus the effective price realized by sellers P subscript S $7.50 50 cents times the quantity in the taxed market 5 or $2.50. The portion of the tax that is borne by sellers in this market is the lower unshaded and much smaller rectangle here. So when demand is relatively inelastic consumers will bear a larger portion of the economic burden of the tax. In our hypothetical, consumers bear $12.50 of the $15 tax. As a real-world example, it is highly likely that smokers do not greatly reduce the quantity of cigarettes that they smoke as the result of a tax-induced price increase. Therefore, smokers, consumers, are likely to bear most of the economic burden of an excise tax on cigarettes.